This is the NFL, and we are live from beautiful State of America Stadium in Chuckage, South Carolina. The Carolina Panthers are warming up their last week's kill on their sidelines barbecue pits as part of their pregame ritual. My pregame ritual is a lot different, Grim. It usually involves filling out accident reports and telling the paramedics what I may have ingested in the last 24 hours that could have caused projectile vomiting and projectile diarrhea while falling down the staircase or an elevator shaft, depending on the stadium. That's up. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The New York Threats take on the Carolina Panzers. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Grim Blitzrow with you along with my partner, former player Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. And his life partner, the mini mutant head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. Hey, you just threw up on my shoulder. I don't often drink beer, but when I do, I get totally shit-faced. I am the world's most intoxicated man. Say that again. And it's first and ten. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. And the defense goes for the jug. If he was still talking, he'd probably be saying, Psycho killer, Keska say, what the fuck, the fuck, the fuck? Oh, did we get out of First and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. First and eight to go. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Actually, he does have some turkeys getting drafted on his back side from that bad brown he had last year. Shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for You know what? Never mind. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Quick pass picks up maybe two yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. So he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole up here. Talking to you. Not, not one. And this guy is supercharged with electricity. Devastating hit knocks the ball loose. He could go all the way. He's at the 10. It's a touchdown.
Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. And he picks up ten on that run. Man, he nearly broke that one open, Bricks. Yeah, and I nearly married Trim Big Assian. And I nearly did not crap my pants earlier. Nearly as overrated, Grim. One, hot two, hot, hot, hot. They go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Nice run for five yards. Second down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. the way to move the chains that's good for a first down this game is all about momentum and killing and it's first and ten hot, hot one hot two hot, 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 hot. and that was a bone crusher right there folks Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, three. That's a catch for a 10-yard gain. Third down, and hot. the punter is warming up. One, hot two, hot three. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he went on to the races. Hey, man, nobody can touch me with an eyeball. I take all your mutants out. That's right. Yeah. Hey. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Hey. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. Watch out. The ball carriers brought a chainsaw to the <laughs> Except this dad has a chainsaw and a turkey screaming for his life. I like the painting of the dogs playing poker. Mistakes here, just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Kicker J 
just ended up in the meat wagon. They'll need to find another player on their bench who can kick field goals. Good luck with that. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And that's a nice run for a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hey, guys, this isn't funny. I swear to drunk, I'm not got one. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better, like Eskimos burying salmon heads, kimchi. I'm in mean, anything really tastes good. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Third down and nine. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big ball. Quarter one comes to an end. If they don't get it together, this game is going to turn into a rout. And they'll line up for the punt here. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. A nice run there for eight yards. Second down and two. That was a nice piece of running, Grim. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. Murphy Brown! What? I mean, first down! What the hell was that? I, uh, I honestly don't know, Grim. And it's first and ten. I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Boom! And that'll bring up second and one. I hope you covered your ears. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. Oh, a great catch, and he picks.
picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. They call the work speed dirty trick. He's so fast he wants his 60 minutes. He scores! He earned those points on the heels of an epic run. Nah, don't call things epic, Grim. Kids aren't going to think you're cool no matter what you do. Junior, I don't want kids to think I'm cool. <laughs> Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. to avoid the saw, but the saw just made a better, cleaner cut to the ball carrier. It's two-yard run before he stopped. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. And the defense calls the thunderclap dirty trick. Man, that's got to hurt. Don't make the hair on your corpse stand straight up. And it's first and ten. And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot eight. Oh, the week the quarterback said they'd blow up the defense today. <laughs> he was right. Kapow! Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. And we're at the two-minute warning. Third down and three. Hot, hot one. Hot. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And they take their first time out. Uh, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out there in halftime. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. With the brain scrambler. 
They stopped the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Uh, that's okay, Grim. They can have nine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. One, hot two, three. He had it for a second there. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he put all of his foot into that one. Nice catch, and it's... Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. Oh, nice hit! Second and eight to go. And that's how you run the football. First down. And it's first and ten. And he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. And that'll be second and eight to go. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries. Makers of great killer products like Roundup. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. The third quarter is about to begin, and if it's as much of a blowout as the first half was, we may see a riot in the stands. Oh, well, that's gonna happen either way, Grim. It's a $1 Red Bull crap and vodka jello shot day. Yeah, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you're mistaken, man. You get up in my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot. You've got to catch that. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot eight. And he punched his way out of that tag. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. No, that's a relief, because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. Ah, uh, you're telling me. First down! Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Hot one. Eight. I'll say this, the offense is putting together a hell of a drive here. And the defense is just getting schooled out there. First down and seven. Second down and long. Hot, hot 
One, hot two, hot, hot three. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Trying to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. First and ten. And that's some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. And that'll bring up second. Look out! That's an all-out attack on the... And that unsportsmanlike play of the day brought to you by the good folks at Speedy's drive through Funeral Parlor Service located just off the Beltway exit five. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Second down and more than the QB would like. Pick up a nice chunk of yards on that pass play. Third down and a pussy here. comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot lost another line basher on that play and only two remain on their roster. Their defense is getting very close to forfeiting this game. Second down and ten. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 me. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. First down! 
He was not going to drop that one. And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. <laughs> And this is a first and, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down in a mile. was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. When the defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, you ever hear that Zappa song, Watch Out Where the Huskies Go? Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But that fudge ice cream sandwiches, eh, they didn't taste so good. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. Third down and eight. And that is caught for a first down. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> And it's first and ten. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Hey, man, you see that? That's right. You can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. with the punishing hit. And it's first and ten. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Second down and ten. Pickup of about three on that play. The third quarter mercifully ends. If this game is as painful to watch as we are to listen to, then please accept our apologies. This one is just about over. I got the thing stuck in my ear again. And the defense spiked the offensive water with Strawberry Field. And now they can taste sound, but that ball was almost intercepted. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. Oh, and that's what it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. Quarterback calls a Sonic Blast dirty trick and he is fighting for every yard. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's first and ten. like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. 
And it's first and ten. He picks up ten yards on that play. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. And the runner is going crazy fast. He blasts it and picks up seven yards right there. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidence? Don't worry. If he shots you to death, maybe he can shot you back to life after. Yeah, I'm not sure it works that way in the MFL. There's no reason to drop the ball if you're still alive. Oh, you see that saw, Bricks? He never saw that. I saw what you saw. A saw you never saw. See, there's the saw there. I see. First and ten. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. He picks up eight yards on that pass. Second down and two. The nasty dirty. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused. Second down in a lot. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. Oh, what a great defense. 
defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pad, Bricks. You're right. And that was well played. The defense anticipated a pass and put an end to the offense's drive. Not tonight, fellas. And it's first and ten. way to keep the chains moving that was beautiful and the two minute warning sound sounds like what grim sounds like the asshole i'm living on first down and six four yards on that one and he was just starting to pick up some speed hey grim i know a guy if that's what you're after the defense calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. Second and three. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. And here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. Complete pass. Looks like the defense got away with that one there. I didn't want to grab the receiver like that. He could get hurt. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brent's ex girl. No, but they were doing it. Yeah. He zings it in there for a four yard gain. Third down and six. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. And the quarterback goes into a hurry up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and 10. And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up at the crack of noon. We're talking about the MFL, you moron. Well, we're talking about a guy's career blowing up. Okay, that guy's career just blew up. Uh, along with most of his skeleton. He was being rhetorical, you moron. You don't think I don't know what rhetorical is, huh? Well, I do. So please tell me. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. He just picked the receiver's pocket, and the defense gets a turnover. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. He's at the 40. And he runs out of gas and got tackled short of the goal line. Hell of a run, though. I like the stamina half to show a lot of guys, Grim. Uh, at least that's what I hear. The Panzers got rolled over by the opposition and chuck up a loss.
They've got 99 problems, but a win ain't one of them. That's right, Grim. Just like a bridge over troubled water. Like a whole lot of Rosie. The game's most valuable player is speaking about the victory now. Grim Blitzro with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Hard Corporation. They get it right every up.